Hey guys, Delcoin, I am back, and I'm going to bring you guys a pivot tutorial. Now, I believe it was yesterday I put up a just small tutorial, but I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it and how to get better. Alright, see, I'm no, I'm no champion at this, but we're going to do it together. So, first you load up pivot. Um, I'm using 4.1.9, or some people call it uh, version 4. So, this is it. So, this is what you're going to get, right? So, uh... Basically, that's frame, that's what frame you're on, repeat, how many times you want the, uh, this basically, uh, let's show you an example. Uh, let's put this up there, let's make two of these, and then let's take this, and then let's change to repeat, now let's play it. Now we stop, alright. Now let's watch it. And he's gonna hold his arm there for eight frames. So now we stop. And that, that was eight frames. So let's uh yeah, forget it, we'll hold it. Uh this is play, there's a hot key for it, it's uh P. If you hit P it'll play it automatically. Uh S will stop it. Uh I'm just showing you the interface right now. Uh loop. What loop does, it'll loop the uh, animation. So when it gets to this point, it'll just stop. So I uh, like to have that on, so you can see what you're doing. Uh, this will tell you how fast the, uh, it's the frame rate, how fast the uh, animation is going. You can have a minimum of 7 or a high of 33. Keeping at 8 is probably like the minimum you want it at. Uh, background, you can load up a background, but we haven't, uh, one hasn't been loaded yet, uh, add figure. Let's say you have a figure already made, or it's in the animation. Whatever you put in the animation, it'll be in the uh, add figure. All right. Uh, this is delete a figure. You can also hit your delete button, which I like to do sometimes. Uh, with a pencil, you edit your figure. Uh, let's talk about this real quick. Uh, this, what this is, you can also press C to it's to add a circle, so you can make them have a bigger head or whatnot so that's always nice you can always press delete if you don't want to get rid of that uh you can press l and you can get a line another line going so you can make another arm oh yeah that's hot uh segment kind so you'll get something like this you'll just change this segment so if you have a circle you can change it to a line a line it's a circle uh Duplicate segment. You can press D to also duplicate a segment, which is where I like to do sometimes. Is press D to duplicate the segment. Basically, like this. You can duplicate. You can do that all you want. Uh, these arrows change the thickness of the line, which is nice. Uh, change the thickness. You can also use your arrow keys, like so. Let me take this off there. So use your arrow keys. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, you can change it so it'll be static or dynamic, which is okay, you know. Uh, this will, ch you see this little yellow part here? This will change the position, so, of the, uh, handle. So let's press this, it'll, like, it'll switch between that segment. So you can put it right there and go right back there. It'll change the, uh, position of the segment, so. So let's say you have an animation where the frame line is up on the neck, but this is already down at the bottom. Like you can see it like down here like this, and you can't reach it. What you just do is for something like that, just hit, just change the segment, and you just come back up here and just pull it up. All right. So it's good to have uh, this. We'll add another segment. So see, it just went from uh, two to three. It'll add another segment in there. You can do it again, you'll get 4, 5, 6, etc, etc. Uh, the X will just delete stuff. So, let's get out of here. Let's hit close. So now we have this. Uh, delete, edit. Uh, these green arrows will center your figure since it's, let's show you. 
we'll bring it right back to the uh, middle. Uh, this arrow will flip your figure. Yeah, a little bit. Um, these two, let's say you have a uh, something else on here, such as like a uh, like an object, like a table or a vehicle on here. Uh, you can press this and it'll bring the uh. No, let me load something up real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. Load figure type. Mm. Let's load an elephant. And these, all these are mostly defaults. There are some I had to make. But the elephant is a default. So let's change the color. This changes the color, by the way. You probably figured that out, but let's change this to red. Okay. So you can see the elephant is in front. And if we click your guy, or no, let's stand the elephant. We can, uh, since he's already in front, we can push him back so he's behind the elephant. The elephant's behind the man, or vice versa. Uh, this duplicate figure will just duplicate the uh, duplicate the figure. Uh, join unjoined fingers to one another. Basically, whatever you have selected, whatever figure I've selected, you can attach it to another figure. So now we have an array of elephants, or just one elephant, stuck to the man's hand. Let me get him out of here. He's stuck to the man's hand, and all that. Oh, this here will change the size of the figure that you have selected. So right now I have the man selected, I'm just going to keep holding this down, and you can keep going, uh, add frame, it's pretty self-explanatory, just hit that, you can also press space, that's what I usually do is hit the space button, or the space bar, whatever you want to call it, and it'll uh, add frames, uh, opacity will just change the uh, color, not color, uh, the higher it is, see the figure is black right now, that now if we go down to about zero our figure is invisible so when you have it zero your figure is is completely white and you can just change the color and have your figure reappear uh, let's see here the, this is your uh, your help menus we don't need this it's not that difficult to use um Let's see, you can undo transparency, or reshort, you know, whatever. Now, let's see here. You can select all figures and delete them all at once. Also, when you go to, well, I, should, I should show you guys this real quick, create figure type. You can create your own figure like we were doing before. The same thing as edit, which is always nice. Uh, if you go to edit and edit mode, you can change the size, length, and all that whatnot, which is really good. You can hold things and stretch. You can also press control, and it'll do the same thing. So it's always nice to have it. Let's, let's close this up. So now that you know how to do it, you can go and do it by yourself. And uh, we'll be back. I'll bring you a finished animation in a minute. And uh, I'll show you how to uh, put this into Movie Maker or whatever and uh, get you going.